my name is Jakub Janda. I am director of European Value Center for Security Policy. And I'm currently in Taipei in Taiwan because we are actually opening our office in Taiwan um, to, to exchange uh, exact uh, political and security experience uh, between Taiwan and mainly center European democracies, being government institutions or civil society organizations like think tanks. Uh, currently, we are the only private European think tank with an office on presence in Taipei, uh, which gives us a lot of uh, access to many partners in Taiwan from government or civil society or the media or academia. And uh, that's exactly what I think many other European researchers and institutions should be doing, because Taiwan has uh, extensive experience first in democracy building here in the Asian context. And second, Taiwan has experience in building resilience against external pressure. And by that, I specifically mean the coercion of the Chinese Communist Party, which goes through on many levels against Taiwan and Taiwanese institutions and society. So in, in a nutshell, Taiwan is on the front line of democracies, which are actually facing off against the pressure of Chinese Communist Party. Uh, and that's exactly why we as Europeans, we as European uh, experts, politicians, security officials actually have many things to learn from Taiwan because um, uh, Taiwan, Taiwan has a, a unique and I would say very similar ex democratic experience with Central European countries because Central European countries actually lived for uh, approximately uh, four decades under uh, non-democratic regimes. Uh, and, and, and we have gone through our own democratization in 1990s uh, and try to get back to the global stage and, and the international organizations, uh, which is similar to what Taiwan and Taiwanese society has, has experienced. Uh, so we share much of our history and much of similar problems, I would say, inside of our societies. Because we are democratic societies, it means uh, that there are public discussions, there are free, there's free media, there's free political discussion, there are free elections. So politicians change in our in our countries, which is natural and which is not, uh, which is correctly right because that's why we are democracies. We have a power of the people to vote individual politicians into office or out of office in elections. Um, but specifically on national security issues, where, where we as a think tank focus on. There is so much of knowledge which Taiwan and Taiwanese institutions have on understanding the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, because the Chinese Communist Party, I would say, is the number one global threat to any liberal democracy, not only in political, but also in military and security and economic sense. Uh, and uh, the Taiwanese society, its institutions, its experts have great knowledge of this number one threat, which is facing all of us. Sometimes in Europe, we have actually uh, experience or we have a feeling that uh, the Chinese Communist Party is so far away given the geographical distance. But unfortunately, we have so much of, of, uh, of that uh, coercion, intimidation and penetration of European democratic societies done by the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, Taiwan is a great uh, resource in understanding not only the threat, but more importantly, how to actually build what we call democratic resilience, which is exactly how institutions and, and uh, societal institutions can actually be, let's say, resilient domestically. So you could have a lively and free and liberal democracy domestically, while at the same time being very uh, strong in defending your own national sovereignty, which is exactly what Taiwan is doing. And we in Central Europe have similar experience with Russia because Russia is a neighbor which is militarily threatening us in Central and Eastern Europe, but also trying to penetrate and poison much of our society and uh, political public discussions with disinformation, for example. So there are so many good similarities, I would say, between Central European democracies and Taiwan. And that's exactly why my own think tank is actually setting up our presence in Taipei, so we could serve as a bridge between uh, those two, let's say, regions and individual uh, democratic countries, so that uh, there could be exchange not only of information and experience, but let's say of visiting fellows, for example. So we could bring 
Taiwanese experts to Central Europe, where there has not been much of, of, of Taiwanese presence yet, uh, given our, our own history, uh, and also bring Central European experts or government officials to Taipei, to Taiwan, where they could actually exchange much more than uh, than all of that, than all of that, all of that meetings. So that's exactly what I think we, we should be doing much more in Central Europe. My own thing, think, is currently the first one to do it, uh, but I really hope that there'll be many more coming from Central Europe or generally from Europe to Taiwan uh, for more long-term cooperation, not only for, for short delegations or conferences, but for more long-term presence, uh, which is exactly what you need if you want to build trust between people and institutions. Uh, and that's what we know from European integration, European Union or NATO. You need to build trust between people so there could be much more direct cooperation in the security area or in political areas as well. And I think we, at this moment, we could see a lot of political and diplomatic momentum between countries like Lithuania, Czech Republic or Slovakia towards Taiwan, which is good. That's the first, first initial step. And then the, the next phase is to do more practical cooperation and projects where specifically in the field of national security, that's where my, my own think tank focuses on, but we need much more in a broader scope.